Okay, welcome back. We're just going to take it up from where we left before. And by now you should have the first 10 words of the number rhyme peg system pretty well memorized so that whenever you say a uh, number, i.e. 7, you automatically know, oh yeah, 7, heaven. And if you have the first 10, then let's move on. So we have the first 10 words. Now we're going to learn the next 10 words by linking them together with the first 10. And the way we do that is we link them with their corresponding number. So 1 links with 11, 2 links with 12, 3 links with 13, etc. And I have these written up here for your own reference. So 1 is bun and 11 is telephone. And the way we're going to remember telephone is we're somehow going to connect an image of a telephone with a bun. Now we already know that bun is number 1. So if we want to know what number 11 is, we just have to think of a bun and then the connection that we create with the number 11 will give us the word. That might, that might be a little bit confusing for you right now, so let's just go ahead and do the exercise and then it's going to be a lot more clear. Now these are the images that I kind of think of when I try and link these words together. Like I said before, if you want to come up with your own images that's perfectly fine but for now just try and go through my images because it's going to be a lot easier for you especially if you're just starting off with this method so 11 we have telephone I want to link the number 11 with the number 1 which is bun and the way I do that is I, I imagine the telephone is made out of sticky buns and every time I use it it leaves a sticky gooey mess on my ear and my hand and a good way to kind of really solidify these visualizations or these kind of connections in your mind is to actually try and experience what you're trying to visualize. So as I visualize this image, I experience the disgust of feeling that sticky gooey mess on my ear or my hand and that just makes everything more solid. Next is 12, which is cardboard, so I linked the number 2 with 12, which is shoe and cardboard. And the image I have is, instead of wearing normal shoes, I imagine wearing the square cardboard boxes that my shoes usually come in on my feet. So that's quite an easy image to vividly imagine. And then whenever I think of shoe, and then I see the cardboard, I say, oh yeah, number 12 is cardboard. 13 is bicycle. So I want to link the number 3 with 13, that's tree. So I imagine little tiny red bicycles on the branches of trees instead of leaves. Now all the trees look red instead of green. 14 is butterfly, so I link door, which is 4, with 14, which is butterfly. And the image I have is a group of butterflies carrying a big heavy door through the air and I'm standing on it and I can look down and see the environment below. The sky is filled with them and you can see people scurrying for safety because some of the doors are falling down from the sky. Again, that's a very vivid image that's easy to create in your mind. 15 is golf club. I link 5, which is hive, with 15, which is golf club. And I do that by imagining hitting beehives with a golf club instead of golf balls. So I'm using beehives instead of golf balls. Now every time I hit one, it smashes open and all the bees start roaming towards me. And for you, this would be roaming towards you. Again, a scary image that's unusual, yet that's what's going to make it easy to remember. 16 is watermelon. So I link sticks with watermelon. Imagine a big long stick with two watermelons on either side. You like to walk around your house doing bicep curls with it and also hitting people on the head with it. So that's kind of more of a funny image. But again, because it's unusual, it's going to be easy to remember. 17 is donkey. I link 7 with 17. It's heaven, heaven and donkey. So imagine a group of small little donkeys with white wings flying up past fluffy clouds into heaven. 18 is hand. We've got plate and hand. Imagine trying to tie your shoelaces, but you are having a very difficult time because instead of hands, 
you now have two big plates at the ends of your arms. Again, that's quite a disturbing image. That's unusual, it's vivid, and it's going to be easy to remember. 19 is bath, link 9 with 19. So we've got wine and bath. Imagine big baths riding the waves in a huge sea of red wine. So you can even imagine them looking like these big baths, looking like ships on this big sea of redness, this big sea of red wine. Then we have bed, so I link 10 with 20, hen and bed. Imagine that your bed is full of big red hens. Your bedroom is very smelly and you find it very hard to sleep because of the noise. So those were our last 10 words. And if you have imagined each picture in your mind, you'll be able to recall the next 10 words quite easily. In order to remember a word from 10 to 20, all you need to do is to remember what it's connected to from the words 1 to 10. So for example, let's say you want to remember what the 15th word was. Well, you know the corresponding number to 15 is 5, so you remember hive. And then as you remember hive, you're going to remember the actual image that the hive is in, and you will see yourself hitting the hive with a golf club, and you'll remember, oh yeah, 15 is golf club. So let's go through these and see how you've done. 11 is telephone, 12 is cardboard, 13 is bicycle, 14 is butterfly, 15 is golf club, 16 is watermelon, 17 is donkey, 18 is hand, 19 is bath, and 20 is bed. Now again, none of this is going to make much sense to you unless you've actually gone through those exercises and you have tried to create the images in your mind. If you've just kind of listened to this, it might not make any sense to you at all. It might look quite unusual and you'll be thinking, what's this all about? So if you haven't done it, go back, try the exercises, go through the actual sequence, go through the images that I created. And once you've learned all the 20 words, then you can move on to the next section. So there we go. That's basically the number rhyme peg system. Now with this system, you're going to be easily be able to remember any 10 items in order, simply by connecting them to the number rhymes from 1 to 1 all the way up to 10 hen. Of course, the system does have limitations in that you can only learn 10 items at a time. However, it is a good starting point for us because it's a good demonstration of how we can use our imagination to connect images together, thus making remembering very easy. And like I said, when you can remember those 20 images with ease, move on to the next section. But be aware, if this is your first time trying out this, any, this kind of type of exercise, it may seem difficult and unusual to you. But it's going to get very, very easy as you go through the exercise a few times. So move on to the next section when you're finished with this.